Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Timothy, Citizen Jones, 16 Dustin Avenue. Um, I wanted to make a few points, uh, one of which you already made or began to make, Nancy, and that is the uh, master plan uh, will be changed and only changed by the elected planning board, correct? It will be changed. The master plan will be changed by us. It will be changed by us, and it will go forth to the planning board for approval. Is that correct? So unless they approve it, it doesn't actually get changed, right? Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I can't speak to the planning board. I know what the no. rules are. Rick, I can't. You know? Fran knows. Fran? We would have the opportunity to change it. I don't know. Well, we don't know what the plan's going to look like, so I, I don't know what's going to happen. So mm -hmm. we, will re we will look at it in the same kind of detail and that. The RSA requires uh, the board approve it. Uh, yeah. The change to the plan. Right. So the change doesn't exist until the planning board approves it. It's my understanding of the RSI. Correct. Right. And it's my understanding that your, that this body, uh, all members appointed, uh, are created by the state legislature to advise the various entities on putting the master plan into effect. It was adopted, what, 2001, something like that? It was 2001. Yeah. yeah. So you're chartered with, by the state legislature, to provide advice. Right now we're chartered to update the master plan. And, and the update of the master plan actually occurs by the planning board, the elected mm -hmm. planning board, mm -hmm. not the appointed Hampton Beach Area Commission. I wanted to make sure that, because the newspaper is reporting something different, <coughs> and I think it's very important that we get clarification on it. Citizens have their voice at the planning board through their elected representatives on that board. The planning board should not be pushed aside on this matter. I am opposed to any change to the configuration, particularly on Ashworth Avenue. I believe that we have no substantial need for any substantial change on Ocean Boulevard. I do believe that your consideration for recommendations to the Planning Board for changes to the Master Plan should reflect from the border to border, especially Ocean Boulevard. That is to say, the town of Northampton's border, at least, to the Seabrook border and the proposed advice that you would give to making changes to the master plan. And certainly in terms of the immediate work that needs to occur, we need to take care of the sidewalks. And again, border to border. Obviously right now you're talking about something less than that. But the plan should consider border to border at least. This is the Hampton Beach Area Commission. Mm -hmm. But in terms of immediate need, I think that we really need to consider from uh, the uh, south section of Ashworth and Ocean Boulevard to High Street in terms of the needs for sidewalks, drainage, and repavement. No, re no substantial reconfiguration is needed whatsoever. I believe that the uh, proposed change to the Hampton Harbor entrance is uh, going to cause more problems than it solves. I don't think it's going to solve any problem, to be honest with you. I use the Hampton Road, uh, Hampton Harbor Road entrance all the time. And I have virtually no, well, I have no problem, not, no, not just virtually no problem, I have no problem using it whatsoever. Sometimes there is a close situation that occurs, but guess what? There, I've never been on a road in America where a close situation hasn't occurred from time to time. People need to drive responsibly. But that that current situation is just fine. And as Uta said, if you want to do anything there, that first entrance, that north entrance into Ocean Walk could be closed to potentially reduce, although it might produce some con additional congestion. I think it, a nominal change that probably wouldn't cause much of a problem. There was a lady that spoke about permeable surfaces and, and why we should be sensitive to it for conservation reasons in terms of dealing with uh, water flow by having sealed surfaces everywhere in that we are, in fact, as citizens, uh, restricted uh, to certain controls on permeable surfaces. But it's important for the citizens to realize that when government makes laws, including the permeable, permeable surface law, they exempt themselves. And there's one other thing about all this configuration change I want you to take into consideration. 
The tourists come here year after year after year. I mean, pretty much the same tourists. We get new tourists, sure. But we have a whole lot of tourists that come here for decades. And you know, they like the beach the way it is. That's why they come. If, if you reconfigure substantially their, their driving patterns, they're going to feel uncomfortable. It's not going to feel like home to them anymore. And they're going to start thinking about going somewhere else. And I'm not sure that we want them to do that. So that's about all I have to say. I thank you for your time. Thank you.